have a dream That's all I need I'll make it up in some work and believe Let's say you want to know what kind of trademark is registered and what kind of trademark is registered in the Netherlands. You can just look it up. What you need to make sure is you go to this website and you can look it up. Try to keep in mind if you're doing your own research, make sure you know the name or if you want to register a um, logo or something, make sure you know how it looks like. You have a uh, document of it so we have the name or the document and when you have those things you go to the website we see here trademarks we're gonna go to search trademark right so we press it okay you see here i can search for a picture or i can search for word I don't have a picture to upload now to search it so we're not going to do that but let's say we have apple let's look for that trademark and here you see a couple of trademarks try to understand this and try to keep this in mind bx means benelux euro eur means europe and ent means international they explain it clearly here we see a trademark you see apple this is registered for the benelux that means this is registered for the netherlands belgium and luxembourg international also register yeah so here you see some trademark that's registered for app for for these um, countries this is an international registration yeah try to keep in mind that something is registered international doesn't mean they still use it in that country because it's international registration but sometimes people neglect to use the trademark in the certain kind of country keep that in mind and that can be a reason for making a trademark invalid yeah so let's say we want to check we want to check the trademark we press here the details Because this is international, it will show us to the um, WIPO. That's not interesting. Let's find an. Um, we're gonna look at it when it's finished with loading. We're gonna try to find an uh, euro, Benelux. This one is Benelux, so let's check it. So here, you see here, it will stay on the website. That's why you know it's here. So when you're looking for a trademark, you see the file number. Most of the time, when you have the file number. You can use it in almost every trademark searching to find the trademark in that search engine. This is not the only search engine. You also have TM review. You have different kind of trademark search engine. It depends what kind of country you are, or it depends what kind of search engine you're going to use. But you can use the file number to file, um, to look for it. So the basis is Benelux, and you see the date of filing. You see this is recent in december 22 yeah. and it's file and 18 january is published and this the period to file the opposite was between 18 january and 18 march you see that in here yeah and nothing went wrong with that um, trademark so it got registration you see apple watermark individual mark and here you see for the list of goods so, so the class and you see class 12 so it's only registered for class 12 and you see here this is in dutch registration and they put it for these kind of things this is in dutch sorry it's not in uh, english but this is in dutch and it's registered for vehicle what um, different kind of vehicle the word apple they register for different kind of vehicle and here you see the name and address holder yeah so these are the things you can print it out and then put it in your collection but when you're doing your research make sure you um look at the trademark and see how you what you need from the research because like you see here if you want to register the word apple think about it what kind of class do i need if if i'm in class 12 i need to find a lot of trademarks registration for in 12 and how they register it.
but if I'm in 45, there's a different story. So let's look at the international that we clicked a couple of seconds ago. You see here, you find more information about that. So expect expiration date, renewal, 2030, so it's 10 years from now. And here, language, English. This is from someone at the US, Apple Incorporation. You see that in here? And I think they just renewed the trademark. And here you see the address. Interesting. And here you see in, um, in different languages where they register in which country. Because it's international, you can see in which country they are active. Because Apple is active in a lot of country, you cannot say they are not using their um, trademark because it's obvious. But sometimes you have some company that do not anything with their trademark. And the problem with that is that can be a reason why it's invalid. So this is how you look for a trademark. And if you have a question about it, you can just go on a Discord, you press the Law Center, you can ask me a question about it. If you like this kind of if you like this kind of video and uh, you want to support the stream, just press donate now or you want to support me, just buy me a coffee. It's three dollars. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gonna get it. You hear me, I'm in, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be.